looking at example 5 out of section 1.3. The example looks at different quotients with a different gap, and so not q plus 1 and q, but a different size. In example 4, we're looking at a seasonal value, so we compare values that are 12 apart. The example starts with data that was given for monthly sales, and if we look at the chart, what we see is there are monthly sales that are seasonal, that we expect 12 months apart to have similar values. And I'd like to compare the idea of marginal values here. So the simple way of doing it was I want the basic marginal values, which is I'm going to look one column down, one row down from where I was, and that gives me marginal values. And I notice things are going up and going down, so I don't have a good sense of what's really going on. What instead I'd like to do is look at not one down, but 12 down, because if they're monthly values, that's what happens a year difference. And what we're going to see is when I'm looking at a year's difference, I see a steady growth over the course of a year that each month is about 110 or 120 higher than the same month the previous year. So I've got a steady growth even though the factor of the monthly change is making, having an impact. I can do the same thing with trend lines. In this case what I want is not the linear function but the moving average. And I want the moving average, which is 12 periods apart. And notice that when I get to 12 periods apart, it looks pretty much like it's a straight line. So sometimes when I'm doing difference quotients, I don't want the difference to be my input value one different, but I might want 12 or 4, something that comparable periods are showing up at the beginning and the end. Thank you.